with our latest announcement of the AppRight network, we've now introduced two new regions available on AppRight Cloud. This means you now have more options available to choose from when deciding where your data actually sits. So previously we had Frankfurt, Germany as our one and only available region. And now we've added New York City and Sydney, Australia with more regions coming by the end of 2025 and early 2026. More regions means we can now place our data closer to the majority of our users. And of course, the closer our data sits to those users, the more reliable it becomes with reduced latency. This is a huge step as AppRight approaches closer and closer to general availability. So how does all of this affect your current workflow? Well, from now on, anytime you go into the AppRite console and you go to create a new project, you're now gonna see Sydney and New York as an available region, and the other regions until we add those are still gonna be disabled here. Now, as a rule of thumb, you're gonna wanna select the region that's closest to the majority of your users in order to make the biggest impact. Now, this is something that's gonna be available to all users eventually, but if you're watching this video within the first couple of weeks, it's only gonna be available to pro users. So if you don't see these as an option, just make sure to either upgrade or just wait a couple of days, eventually it will be available. The biggest change you're gonna see from a technical standpoint is gonna be the endpoint which you use to connect to your project. So previously we had one endpoint for AppRight Cloud and that was just cloud.appright.io forward slash V1. However, with these new regions, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you prefix that endpoint with a specific region in order to actually connect to that specific project. So for those of you that are worried about backwards compatibilities, for your current projects, if you're still using the original endpoint, that one's gonna point back to Frankfurt, Germany, so don't worry about it. If you're just leaving it the way it is, you're not gonna be affected. So technically, we're gonna have four different endpoints. So FRA is gonna to point to Frankfurt, SYD is gonna to point to Sydney, NYC is gonna to point to New York, and the original endpoint is just gonna point back to Frankfurt. If you have an existing project that you wanna change the region for, unfortunately, at the moment, there is no way of just automatically doing this. The way that you're gonna to have to do this is you're gonna to need to create a new project within that specific region that you want. Then you're gonna take your current project, migrate it over, and that's how we're able to update that. Now, I'm not gonna cover that in this video. That's something I can follow up with and cover in another one. For now, that's it. I hope you all learned something, and I'll see you all in the next one.